All right, hang tight heat seeker quilt. Um, a lot of people asking about these. I tested it here overnight, uh, 17 Fahrenheit. I got down to about 16 Fahrenheit. Kept checking the weather channel. Um, this top quilt's real nice. I like the, the built-in foot box. This though, to make this work, you gotta have it right about a foot down where your neck and shoulders a little a couple of little gross grain loops or a toggle here and here you see how hammock does this to fit their under quilts um it's just everybody has a different hammock it's going to fit differently and this is not unique to hang tight i just feel like a lot of under quilts some of the more expensive ones you see them built in when i held that when i was in it I um, was able to stay warmer because the, there's too much, you know, there's air in different places of it. It's, it's a different shape than the hammock. Let's go over here. This is where I migrated. This is a Nemo Moonwalk. It cinches around the collar and it has an X-Bed down mat, a well-insulated pad, a very expensive pad. Um, bags close to the same price. Um, overall, this is much, much cheaper though when you consider the two. The value, I mean, more affordable. I'm not saying cheap. It's built well. It's well constructed. Um, I, I like the top quilt so far better with the ground kit and the loops. I'll show a little more here. Oh, shit. All right, we're in the hang tight quilt, the heat seeker. And all I meant was uh, just something like, uh, like like the ground kit for the bottom quilt, like a, a shock and a toggle, a loop, just two loops. And what this is doing is it's holding it nice. It's kind of adjust, mending the quilt to my shape. Like when I did this last night in a couple of places around my body, my fingers kind of froze off, but <laughs> I mean, it was a big difference in staying warm. Not to say this is this is not this is a good, nice piece of equipment. Um, it does for the most part what it says. I don't know, you know, uh, 20 degrees might be its bottom limit, but you know, it's not bad. You know, uh, it's affordable and nice looking and. I got nothing bad to say, just these hammock things, everybody does their modifications. Like, I tried the top quilt in the other hammock over there, and I thought, you know, for a minute, I was like, well, maybe if I put a couple loops here, and, you know, there's always something to add to it that you could do better on any product you buy, and that's just my take on it, on this particular one. All right, another look at the moonwalk. We have these shock cords that just kind of tighten the draft collar around one's neck. Just a little bit more of a cold weather thing. Um, both of these these quilts, this is a 30 degree comfort level rating and the other one's a 20, the heat seeker uh, we're talking about. But you start getting near 20 degrees and you start getting stuff like this. All right, hang tight. So what we have, it's sewn real nice through here with a shock cord, an adjustable draft collar here. And this, the higher up you mount this, the higher up that goes against the hammock. That's a smaller hammock, so I've got it pretty high. I mean, you could tie a knot here. I kind of experimented with that with these smaller hammocks, but I just, I don't know how much more I gain there. There's different things you can do. Um, in general, I feel like this is meant for a wider hammock, but I'm having more and more success as I practice with it with the smaller ones. So um, it's well built. Um, like I said, you know, for me, just if I was doing to go in my pack, I'd really probably have to have a, a loop at least there to hold it around my shoulders and I'd probably put one there because who knows which way I turn it in the middle of the night and put one there to cinch it up around my butt and waist. 
um, just we're just talking a loop like this just so you can get some shot cord in there and just boom get that around your shoulders um, other than that it's a well-built thing you know if you want to call this a 20 degree quilt you know some people might like to see that same thing across the top but we're trying to keep the price at a about a hundred dollar quilt a piece maybe I think thirty dollars extra for the ground mods at this time US dollars 2020 so a good deal for uh, you know I believe this is a 700 down filled quilt nice looking nicely built all right fair to mention this this heat seeker set weighed almost a pound less than this thicker nylon Nemo quilt with the draft collars and the inflatable down pad. So, but that said, I did migrate to this and stay a little bit warmer. I just think, you know, weight for weight, as you increase the mass of the stuff around you, you're gonna get more warmth. I think with the modifications to this that I suggested, you could be on the same level as this. It might not be as versatile if you wanna throw it on the ground like a pad, um, but you know this might be more water resistant, but you're giving up a pound, of about 10 ounces. This was like four pound, four ounces. This was like three pound five and a half ounces the two quilts together all right it's not a mug shot <laughs> oh this is just how i sleep um worthy of mentioning for a test on something i got these i can shift them around and pull things up over my face um your typical hiking shirts and uh good base layer with wool socks there it is definitely not in the nude <laughs> handsome fella though um, yeah these things I really like I can kind of shift them around and I have the thumb loops on my hand and I can pull things different ways to stay warmer so uh, yeah there it is, definitely not in the nude. <laughs>